Hello guys and welcome back to Final Fantasy Type-0. We are playing as Ace and we are now in Academia's main building. So we're going to check it out. Before that I'm going to see what's on the map. So to the right seems to be a book. Uh, teleporter up and to the right leads to a mechanical thing maybe. Bottom left is the Chocobo, probably the Chocobo Master, Trainer, whatever, HQ, just straight up. Yeah, so I, I don't know what any of these icons mean. Ooh, wow, okay. Pretty big game world we got going on here. <laughs> oh yeah, this is going to be a long game. But, um, so yeah, it's, it's been fun so far. I'm loving it, but, uh, now that we're actually caught on to some things, but I don't really understand how to revive your characters. It's just interesting how all the countries and Orients have crystals, but each one utilizes the crystal's power in a different way. That is very interesting. Not really. I, I couldn't care less. Classrooms 5th and 6th, huh? Okay, classroom 3rd and 4th. That means 1st and 2nd. Uh, 11th and 12th. 9th and 10th. Why are they so out of order? 1st and 2nd. What's over here? What's this one? 0? 7th and 8th. Nope. Huh. Okay. What do you have to say about yourself, huh, dude? They say people's magical powers start to wane once they become adults. If I'm going to become a great mage, I'd better get started now. Yeah. You do that. Where does this lead to? Crystarium. Okay. <laughs> Class zero is that way, Koopo. Okay, they're not gonna let me go anywhere else. So I'm gonna go up these stairs and I'm gonna check out what's up here and then we will go to our class. So my character's movement's kinda not laggy like anymore. Why do we need this Agito to save Orient when we can have Lassie? Oh dude. Agito is so much better than Lassie. Central Command. <laughs> Not gonna let us go in there either. Alright, well, that's good. Okay. Everyone's been talking about Tempest Venice ever since the Empire dropped the Ultima Bomb. You should just call it an Atom Bomb. That's what it was. <laughs> you don't think this means. But I'm not ready yet. It's going to mean all out war. I hope you know that, right? Class 8 move. What? Oh, class 0. Good tidings await thee in thy classroom, Koopo. Okay. I guess we will go to the classroom now. <laughs> Yay. There you are, Ace. I've been waiting for you, darling. Before you officially register as a cadet, there's something your mother would like you to know. What's that? I have to warn you that two new cadets will be joining you, dears, in Class Zero. They may don the same crimson capes, but don't be fooled, they're nothing like you. You've been doing an excellent job collecting Phantoma. Those two new kids will be assisting in that harvest, but they don't know what Phantoma is. Or Phantoma, my god. My god, man. <laughs> I really gotta learn how to say that word, Phantoma. And I would prefer if they remained unaware. Okay. Other than you twelve, only a handful of elite researchers are privy the knowledge about Phantoma. 
You dears receive certain privileges because you're special, but those two new ones are not. Wow, be so hateful on the two newbies, man. Come on. You can make them special, you know. Anytime you want, you can make them special. My guess is they're Rem and Machina. Because neither of them really had any magic. I thought they were I think they were both trying to do melee. Our research is strictly confidential, and I would hate for any secrets to get out. So do your poor mother a favor and keep this information to yourself. Wait, she's my mother? Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. You'll do that for me, won't you, darling? Uh, okay, I think that is... Is that his mother? Or is she just calling herself mother because she made them what they are? I'm confused! I mean, she looks nothing like him, so I doubt it's a blood mother. Alright. Let's go over here and click save. Oh, wow. Ace, Deuce, Trey, Cater, Sinke, Sice, Seven, Eight, Nine, Jack, Queen, King. He's King, huh? I don't think he's a king, man. Ace is so much better than him. Well, actually, Ace is kind of worse than him in every possible way. <laughs> Except mana. He's got twin revolvers. That'd be pretty cool. Queen's only got a long gun. Wait, is are them two supposed to be, like, partners or something? Like, why is there king and queen? Jack looks cool. Sice. I think that's a chick. She's got a scythe. Oh my god. Scythe is so gonna be played by me. Just because Sin would also have a scythe. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Armaments. We don't have any other special weapons. Promotion, abilities. What do we got? This one has seven points. Can't use them. He's got eight points. He can use those. He's got a bow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, AD costs down, so that way it costs less. Cater looks kind of weak. Magicite pistol. I'm sure we'll play as them all, though, eventually. She looks like the uh, Sarah chick from Final Fantasy 13. Wonder if there's anything in common with that. Magnitude 7 earthquake. That's cool. See, she's got an earthquake, man. Why well, can't they have some cool stuff like her? I hope there are female characters like that, because, yeah. Calling men females. Right. Scythe. Combo breaker. She's gonna have so many combos. She'll probably be in one of all, all of our characters right there. In 7. I wonder if that's like a reference to Final Fantasy 7. Because that character looks like Leon. But with white hair. Then again he also looks kind of like Leon. But that would make sense because he's 8. And 9. Interesting though.
Elemental Lash. Wait, seven? I think that's a chick because, I mean, when I was playing as her in that fight, she was a chick. Her snake bite was kind of lame. I don't like seven. Seven's weapon is just garbage. <laughs> Brass Knuckles, so he's like a, a tanky character too then, huh? Yep, 73 defense. He's pretty tanky. Nice. Cloud fire stance. All right. Cool. Okay. Nine has nothing because we played as him. He's the awesome dude with the lance. Jack. Uh, he really can't get much of anything either. It's okay though. King. What do you got? Charge. Ah, that's cool. And accelerate. Movement speed's always good. Alright, all of our characters have been upgraded. Let us save it! We don't ever have to do that stupid fight with that thing ever again. That thing was just insane. And it wasn't hard guys, it really wasn't hard, but it was like annoying because every time I would get knocked down and be an instant killed. And yeah. There we go, classroom zero. Cool, we ain't even given a real number. Hey, you eat yet? What are we just sitting around here for? I'm ready for some action, yo! Yep, definitely sounds like snow. <laughs> what? So, Seven is a female. And so begins our new life and the battle for the place we call our home. <laughs> King. Never went into a classroom when I came here with mother. Yeah, so see, they all referred to her as mother, which means that she is calling herself mother because she made them who they are, or she made them entirely from scrap. We will figure this mystery out eventually. And so this is what they look like. I want to look up now. <laughs> All right, let's cut through the formalities. I am now your commanding officer, Kurosama. Nice. Commanding Kurosama. officer? Yes. As of this cool moment, man. you are under my command. The authorization came directly from Arch Sorceress Aratia Alratia. From Mother? Hey. Take a hike, yo. We only take orders from mother. Got it? You're not wanted here, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're gonna be taking orders from him now. 
Oh, you son of a bitch, that hurt! No, oh, man, you got an attitude problem, dude. Oh, All out fight in the classroom already, first day. This guy is pretty tough. He just cut my card in half. Cut the card, get it? Dude, Not that's his attack. Cut the card. It was mother's decision. Are you saying you won't follow mother's orders? Satisfied? Yeah. Good. Yeah, we're, we're pretty Henceforth, satisfied. Henceforth, you will execute Dominion missions under my command. All right. When you have no assignment, you will live here at Academia with the other cadets. Okay. On campus? Yes. Oh, uh, yep, she's a chick. We never had to do that before. Why start now? Does that come because from we Mother are too? A cadet. Yes. Those are Dr. Horatia's orders. Hmm. Also, Cadet Machina, Cadet Rem, enter. Know it. They're the two new ones, and they're normal. Two new cadets have been assigned to Class Zero, starting today. Makina Kunigiri. Okay. Hello. Rem Tokimia. Nice to meet you. Let me guess. Chaperones? Your time is yours wow. until you receive further orders. I have high hopes for you. May the crystal guide you. Class Zero is very snotty, guys. <laughs> they are very, very Good defensive of their selves. Thanks for the assist the other day. Like, yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much for helping us out. Seriously, though, I can't believe Class Zero is real. Why, my friends and I were sure yourselves were just one of Academia's urban legends now we were. And you're so powerful. Just three of you took down a Lassie. Only one Lassie. Oh, which reminds She's me. She's so filled with envy. Why were you able to use your weapons and magic? <laughs> Cut her out. Oh man, that's hilarious. I'd say she talks a little bit too much there. Time to mission. Six hours, huh? We can what are we do gonna it. do for six hours? Ordinarily, conjurers have to give their lives. So Deuce is a chick? Huh, okay. Give their lives in order to summon Eidolons. But special Eidolons don't require any sacrifice of the sort. What a relief. Right? I don't want to give my life to summon a freaking Eidolon. <laughs> okay, got anything else to say? Nope. Okay. Help you? Arya, what is your... Why are you so shy? I mean, talk to the Moogle. Is it really that difficult for you to talk to a Moogle? It's just a Moogle. What's the matter? You do know that you can direct your queries to the Moogle assigned to help us in any... Uh, instead of always coming to me for assistance all the time, don't you? Wait, what? I didn't come to you for assistance. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the Moogle. Starting today, I'll be relaying mission information and instructions from the Dominion. I am the Kupo. military operation, organization, and guidance logistics expert. Kupo. Moogle for short, Kupo. Uh, Some see, prefer to call me the military operation word. guide, or MOG, Kupo. You can call me whatever you want. I hope to be of service, Kupo. Whatever I want? How about... Moglin! 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 Lin! What? Uh, no, Kubo! No, Lin, Kubo! But besides I do have a proper name, Kubo. Hmm? What is it? Yep. <laughs> mm. That's too hard. Moglin's good enough! C -c -c Good enough, Kupo. Actually, you should say Kupo. At the end of that, Kupo? that's usually when I say. 
Get to the cemetery, head out the door over there and through the rear garden, Kupo. Kupo! Many brave men and women gave their lives for us in the liberation. You should offer them a prayer of thanks, Kupo. After all, you can't start thinking about the future until you pay homage to the past, Kupo. That's funny, it's in scene K. Info. Hi there. I don't believe we've met before. <laughs> Deuce is kind. My name is Deuce. King. King is not. Speak Hi. up. Okay. What? Aria? So, your name is Aria? <laughs> oh my god, she's so quiet and so terrified of this glass. Why are you so terrified? How beautiful. Do, do, do you, uh, need supplies? Or I can buy stuff from you if you're done with it okay so she's the shop sell items um mega elixir uh, that's kind of important what do you got just potion and anything Yep, because we need that many freaking potions, guys. <laughs> and I can just press start in the middle of a fight to heal up too, so that works. She's deuce. Starting to learn him. King usually sits in that corner back there. Alright, and Queen's over there. Goodbye. To explore academia, but if you, it weren't for those brave men and women who gave their lives in the liberation, there wouldn't be any academia left to explore, Koopo. Head over to the cemetery. Okay, so um, cemetery is not that direction. Must be this door over here. Yep, okay. Back garden in the cemetery. Alright guys, so I'm going to call it there. I will see you guys next time with part 5. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. This one there was no real action in. It was just kind of exploring and stuff. So I will see you guys next time then. And if you did enjoy it, hit that like button. It makes me feel special when you guys do. And it will help us all out. And so we can make even better videos eventually maybe. And so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you do, keep watching.